Alright, we are back with more Mass Effect 3. Some interesting background music. I just picked it because I kind of like the bass line and it, you know, picks up like it is right now. So it's not too bad. I still miss my Afterlife music quite a bit. And yeah, you can see we're rocking our N7 hoodie. Oh yeah, check it out. Look. <laughs> That's so amazing. Oh yeah. And there's me. So you can get double the shepherd. Oh yeah. Anyways, let's go and check out the rest of the ship. Because there's quite a bit more. Uh, I think like in the first one. Yeah, in the first one there was only like three decks. And the second one there was four decks. And now it has five decks. Let's start and work our way from the bottom up. Because I think that's where we want to be. Is right there at the command center. That's where we're going to have to go. Like to go to the next mission. And all that good stuff. But yeah, it seems like I figured out my rendering problems. I took care of uh, batch rendering, learned how to do that. It was actually pretty easy in Adobe Premiere Pro, so that's pretty nice. So I should be able to kick out a lot more videos. There goes James working out. What the heck is that? Oh, hey, is that the doggy? Is that the doggy? Hey there. Hey. Doggy, is that the dog that I get from the DLC or the collector's edition or pre-ordering? Whatever bonus that was. The shuttles, that's cool. Well, anyway, is that all that's down here, just James? Well, those are some people over there. They didn't look important, though, but I don't know. Wow, he's got a lot of stuff. Look at that punching bag. Stuff, and he's just... He's just pulling up. There he goes. What's up, man? <clears throat> hey, Shepard. <clears throat> How'd it go with the council? Crappy. <clears throat> Same as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful? Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? <clears throat> yeah. We're gonna rescue a Turian Primarch from Palavan. <sighs> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. Hey, me neither. <clears throat> what do you know? <clears throat> you down here for a reason? <clears throat> I don't need a reason, man. Uh, it's honestly, yeah, the only real reason I came down here was just to see who the heck I could talk to. Just came down to talk. Whoa, I saw a little face glitch. Right Great. There. Creepy. <clears throat> Fantastic. Not sure what there is to talk about. <clears throat> you already know my service record. <clears throat> I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. You insensitive <clears throat> jerk for getting well, stuff. <clears throat> Think you can dance and talk at the same time? I wanna dance? I don't wanna dance? What the hell? Dancing? What do you think this is? A ball? I think I can handle it. Okay, loco. Let's dance. <laughs> he said loco again, goddamn. Don't push your luck, Vega. Oh, this is what he With means. Age comes with wisdom. Dancing. And rank. Look at this elegant ah, dance. You sound like my old CO. <laughs> oh yeah? And who was that? Captain Tony. He the was a hard son of a bitch, but a good leader. No, more renegade <coughs> options. Trying not to be Paragon here. Was? Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. Oh, wow. And the colony? It was either them, or the intel we had on the collectors. Intel we could have used to destroy them. I chose the intel. <laughs> Sorry. That's a tough call. <sighs> the best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. That sucks. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire Collector homeworld. Hell yeah. <clears throat> you didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? It's like a cheap shot. <laughs> Just a guess. I'm probably getting tempted to You're take a too? cheap shot. Nope. But that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So are we. So? Huh. So? Maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe... <clears throat> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war! Whoa! <clears throat> 
Maybe you are. Watch your language, buddy. But if buddy. you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey. Thanks for the dance, Loco. <laughs> oh my. Loco, I like... I don't like that. I can't... God, like anything else... Like, I, I'm cool with everything else he said. I think it's actually pretty sweet that he's Spanish, but... Why does he have to say that so much? I'm sorry, no. It's... No nicknames, Lieutenant. Okay? That's... Your ship, your rules. Your loss. No, I I think that's a victory for me. I, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry, but I don't... Oh, God, no. I can't handle that. I don't want to be called Loco. Hey, again. What's up? Let's bug him some more. Oh, hey, let's, uh... Yeah, let's ask him. Why the hell does he like nicknames? What's with you and the nicknames? Yeah. It's just my way of remembering people. Some people just don't match their names, you know? So, I just give them a new one. Oh, ooh. I didn't even hear him say right. Did the audio just cut out again, or... That's weird. I'm using a headset, too, so it's not like it should have anything to do with me recording, particularly. Actually, it might. I don't know. Who the hell knows? I don't. So, that's... This guy's weird. Cortez... What the hell? I take it you and Lieutenant Cortez know each other. Who's Lieutenant Cortez? Yeah, I haven't met him. Yeah, stint on Fell Prime where me and my squad were stationed. I caught up with him on Earth a few months back. He's a good guy. Just don't tell him I said so. It'd go to his head. Cortez, who the heck is that? Uh, yeah, sure, one. You mentioned a mission you had against the collectors. What happened? Pretty much what I said. Things went foobar, and I was one of the few to make it out. If you want the rest of the story, you're gonna have to get me really drunk, or, or what? That's about it. Sorry, Commander. Just not interested in talking about that. Next topic. <laughs> okay. I want to save that one for last, because he's got a very interesting state of mind. You got family back on Earth? Yeah, an uncle. Retired military. Got a few cousins I haven't heard from in a while. You and your uncle close? Yeah. He was the reason I joined the Marines, and was about the only good thing in my life after my mom died. No dad? He's there. Somewhere. But I'm not sure I'd call him family. Not anymore. I would like to find out how my uncle's doing, though. Hmm. You had a hard time leaving Earth. You still want to head back? Hell yeah. But I get it now. It's not where I'd be most useful. Not yet, anyway. We'll get back there. I know. And I'll do whatever it takes to get us there, Commander. Maybe no more shuttle crashes. Yeah, exactly. No promises now that I've gotten the taste for it. Oh. Besides, I like to keep Esteban on his toes. I still don't know who you're talking about. But I'll I have a feeling later. that we'll meet him soon. You bet. So I I have no clue what I think about this guy. I mean, he's Spanish, which is a plus, you know. I'm got Spanish in me, so it's all good. But I just the word loco. That's just kind of hey, whoa, ooh, ooh. What is what is this? Interesting. That's cool. Costs money though. So it's the same, it's just what I got, but oh wow. Oh never mind, I thought that was I thought Crusader was the name of one of my armors. Never mind. So yeah, it's just weapons. Uh who wouldn't mind getting a better shoddy? Maybe. How much do I have? I got enough. I'm worth it. I'm worth it. Huh, interesting. So that's how you upgrade your weapon. Uh let me see if I got this set up right. Uh, I'm wearing my hoodie and my like armor setup. Come on, I still like I want to use this, but I don't. I don't. That's weird. It allows you, if it were to, as it says, pierce thick objects, you know, 0.25 meter thick, and it's better, you know, against armored targets. How does it do reduced damage? Because if it is better at tearing through solid objects, why would it do less? damage like won't it be better at tearing apart at your organs too I I don't know at 60 per that is just so much reduced damage I can't maybe maybe one day I'll I'll experiment with that I still kind of want to carry that 
Not Crusader. Mm, ah, whatever. Whatever, let's get the show on the road. We can debate that later. Is that really it? Can I talk to you? Hey, look what's over here. I see stuff. Whoa, what's that? Whoa, what the? Model freighter. What? Pick up? Are you kidding me? Oh, okay, that's what I meant. I was like, gonna try to pick up the entire thing. I got a ship. That makes me happy. I got a new ship for my room. I love those. I need to find more fish. Ooh, what's in here? Model Quarian? I guess that's another ship? Huh. Awesome. So, like, what? Is all my junk in storage down here? I gotta go find it? That's lame. What's this? Another? Another? Yeah, all my stuff is here. What the heck? Oh, hey, look. I didn't even know I could walk all the way back here. Thanks, doggy. If it wasn't for you walking around, I wouldn't have noticed. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, there's nothing over there. Where did the... Oh, there he went. Dog Harry, follow me. I don't know if that's the same one. Hey, look, a shuttle that I can't go into. Anything else? Oh, it looks like more armor stuff. Oh, hey, a person. Oh, is this Cortez? Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. Got news about our supply chains, Commander. Cool. Yeah, take it easy. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. What's going on? Sorry to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done, I get caught up in the tasks at hand. He's always like that. You need to chill out, Esteban. Yeah, chill out. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. Nice. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. Makes sense. So you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dot ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. <laughs> to save the day, pendejo. I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. Well, that's cool. Ah. Uh, I like, I like his random Spanish quips. Just loco. I just, after that first one, I just can never, never Do you maintain accept this it. armory? I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. Ooh. Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. You know you love the show, Esteban. Yeah. <laughs> the first retrofit we did was to move the armory down from deck two. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. <laughs> now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. Just like the original Normandy. Nice. Welcome back to the Alliance, Commander. Woohoo! I guess that was kind of weird, like they had the armory like just off to the side over there. How long have you been with the Alliance? About 10 years. I enlisted in First Fleet serving on the SSV Hawking, flying F-61 Tridents mostly. I love the Trident. It practically dances in low atmo. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. Got a bit of a reputation. So, you can fly fighters and fix them? Yeah. And I got a knack for procurement, too. They were grooming me for CAG, but my skill set made me more valuable commanding a flight deck. They assigned me to the Normandy retrofit team about five months ago to oversee all cargo bay modifications. Cool, cool. What happened to the M44 Hammerhead? Yeah. <laughs> it was sent to the tech labs for a retrofit. To afford mobility with such a small ESO core, its design sacrificed armor plating. Yeah, it did. The lab engineers are trying to improve that. After the Reaper invasion, those labs are probably just a pile of rubble. That's lame. That thing did explode very easy. The Kodiak seems a bit different. Good eyes, Commander. This is the UT-47A Kodiak. It's got an upgraded ESO core and prototype stealth technology based on the Normandy design. For quick drops, I can get you in and out virtually undetected. She flies like a brick, so that's why you need a good pilot. <laughs> so, in the past I had the brick cell phone, and now we have the brick shuttlecraft. Awesome. You were stationed on Earth. Do you have family there? I'm an only child. Lost my parents years ago. 
I had a husband back when I was stationed at Ferris Field. Whoa. The collectors took out the whole colony. I'd rather not talk about it. Husband, so you're the one I heard about. Keep up the hard work, but don't kill yourself. Yes, Commander. Well, at least he didn't hit on me. Yet. Great. Whatever, well, at least that conversation was normal. To engineering we go.